There are multiple labs you will want your doctor to get for mast cell activation syndrome. You don't need a positive lab in order to diagnose mast cell activation syndrome. Sometimes I see patients come to me in my clinic that they could have MCAS, but their labs turn out negative and you can still get that diagnosis. Some doctors are very strict with their diagnostic criteria and they will only diagnose a patient if their labs are positive. If you go by this route, your doctor could be missing your diagnosis. Lab number one that you do want to get is something called tryptase. Tryptase can be positive in a mast cell tumor, but it can also be positive in mast cell activation syndrome. I would say most of the time, this lab is negative. Lab number two that you do want to get is plasma histamine. So you want to get histamine in the blood. Sometimes when that's positive, it could be a clue that the patient could have MCAS. You also want to get prostaglandin D2. So prostaglandin D2 can turn up positive in MCAS and you do want to get the urine type. Another lab you do also want to get is called N-methyl histamine and this is a urine kind to help diagnose MCAS as well. Another lab is leukotriene E4 and on top of that you want to get chromogranin A. All these are signs if positive that a patient could have MCAS. Now I want to reiterate that when these labs are negative you can still have MCAS. So you really gotta play detective and match up the symptoms with the labs to see whether a patient such as yourself could have mast cell activation syndrome. 